Good morning my lovelies and welcome to a very bright and sunny, slightly nippy, little bit misty Friday morning. I hope you're all well. Oh, in fact the goddess is for Friday. I'm so pleased Friday's here today. It's just been one of those weeks, you know, one of those weeks where you've got a million and one things to do and not enough time to do it in. <laughs> anyway. So, today's video is brought to you today by World Meditation Day. So yes, lovelies, today is World Meditation Day. And it takes place on the third Friday in May. So what is World Meditation Day? Why do we have it? And what's it all about? Well, meditation is an ancient practice present in lots of religions, especially Buddhism and Hinduism. One of the earliest written records dates back from India to about 1500 BC. So it's been going quite a long time. It's not um, a relatively new practice. It's, you know, it's not something that's been thought up or brought into being by, like, the new age side of things. Um, it's been going an awful long time. Uh, so what's it all about? Well, meditation is a practice that involves focusing or clearing your mind using a combination of mental and physical techniques. Depending on the type of meditation you choose, you can use meditation to relax, reduce anxiety and stress. So yeah, it's very good for calming yourself, for centering yourself, for reducing anxiety, um, for reducing stress. And it's just a good way to relax, you know. Uh, meditation can give you a sense of calm, peace and balance that can benefit your emotional well-being and all over health. So, it's not a case, it's not one of those things where you try and shut your mind off and... Um, you know, to calm you down. It's good for everything. It's good for, for your own health as well. And there's been um, loads of studies done on it. Um, and a lot of the mental health boards, experts, um, promote meditation along with other kinds of healing benefits. Um, it's something I've wanted to do for a long time to sort of get into meditation. Um, I have tried it a few times um, and because I'm such an impatient person, if my mind doesn't shut off like instantly and my brain decides it's going to go off on a tangent and think of weird and wonderful scenarios and, you know, stuff you'd only think about at three o'clock in the morning then I lose interest and I'm going well it's not for me I can't do it. the trouble is with me I don't keep pushing at stuff I don't keep trying at stuff if it doesn't work first time round that's it I'm forget it I'm not doing it but there are other things you know you don't have to do it within a silent room there are loads of apps on your phone that you can tap into that will do you a guided meditation there's loads of little videos on YouTube that you can listen to and it will give you a guided meditation um, there's plenty of places you can join that just either do meditation or yoga and meditation um, the list is endless It's I wouldn't say it's the new big thing because it's been going around for a long long time but 
a lot of people now are cottoning on to the fact that meditation is a lot better than you know pumping your system with pills and potions if we can learn to relax calm and center ourselves and help our anxiety without taking medication it's got to be a good thing right so yeah so today while you're having your medita morning meditation evening meditation whenever you do it just give a nod and say today's world meditation day um, and today we remember it so lovelies um, we're going to finish our walk and then we're going home and then I'm going to work um, so do look after yourselves lovelies remember that's important if you're struggling reach out there's always somebody there that will help you look after one another and if nothing else in this world lovelies please be kind because you don't know what that other person's going through that stood next to you and from me and Wu, who's begging for sweets again as normal we are sending you all much love and many blessings Thank you.